Hello guys, welcome to uh, Christopher's Over the Top. Uh, it's Canada's Day today in uh, Canada. I live in southern Ontario. I'd like to start by saying uh, you know, Happy Canada's Day to everyone in Canada. Uh, and to you as well, Bobby. Uh, happy Canada's Day, buddy. Ah, oh, gee, thanks, Chris. Buddy, happy Canada's Day to you too, man. Hey, are you hungry? You know what, Bobby? I think I could use something to eat. Hmm. What should we get? I don't know, man. We're out in the middle of the woods by, by this river. What can we get out here? Hmm. Crayfish. Oh, we need a trap. Do you know how to make one? Hmm. I think, wait. I can't believe this. I don't believe this. What are the odds of me carrying around a crayfish trap in the middle of the woods? I know, like, really? That's, uh, that's crazy. Crazy talk. Oh, let's give it a whirl. So guys, welcome to my channel once again. Uh, I've never done this before, but uh, seen it done a few times. I'd like to give uh, crayfish trapping a good go. Uh, something that's not very done up here in Canada very often. Uh, I've seen it done. I thought I'd give it a try. So what we got here is your uh, typical crayfish trap. Pick this one up at a local uh, get that fast forward shop. Just give me that. I'm gonna have to turn the camera off to open this. So I'll be right back. That I guess it had a couple of tie straps on it so I don't know where I couldn't open it so what I've seen uh, how this is done is uh, dried dog food I picked up the uh, cheapest one I can find I think it was like five bucks or something real cheap I wouldn't feed it to my dog but uh, let's go ahead and just uh, drop a little bit into the trap here I have no idea how much to use we'll start with that hopefully that'll last a little bit and uh, so from there we'll just close it up I'll do it, tie it down, and uh, we'll get it in the water. So uh, let me get that ready, and uh, we'll get this moving and see how it goes. So uh, it's in the water, all the string down there, you can see it. So uh, now it's just a waiting game. I'll have a seat here, have a little drink of uh, juice. And uh, you know, we'll, uh, I don't know, I'll just give a little bit of time today, just try it out, see if it even works. So maybe give it a half hour or so, just sit back, uh, rest my back. It's been bothering me a little lately. And uh, let's see if we catch anything. If I would get something, I'll come back and see if we can make a big feast out of it. Alright guys, uh, not sure you can make that with all the glare there, but there is, the trap is in there. It looks like the dog food's floating, and I do see some fish swimming around it. So I guess the question is, you know, is it, uh, am I going to catch more fish or crayfish? Now, what do you think I'm going to get? Drop your links down below, or your comments, and uh, let me know what you think it's going to be. Uh, I'm going to—I'm going with fish myself. It's only been in there for 35 minutes right now. I'm going to give it a, probably another half an hour. It is nice out here, uh, enjoying the scenery, listening to the birds. So uh, we'll do that. Uh, again, put your comments down. Don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, the little bell up top there to uh, let you know when I do release new videos. So. Uh, Thanks again, and I'll see you in another half hour or so. Hopefully you don't have to wait too long. But for me, it'll be like that. All right, so I'll see you in a bit. All right, bye. Hey, guys. Uh, probably about 10, 15 minutes ago, I, I 
looking down at that trap again, there were so many fish. There was like just all around it. I couldn't believe how many fish I saw. So what I decided to do is I moved the trap up to the shore and I'm gonna let it sit probably for another 20 minutes or so. Uh, let's see if I can get the fish up there and let you guys see them. Uh, hopefully they come up closer to shore and take a look at it. It's uh, it's kind of neat. I'm uh, still not sure about the crayfish. I know they're in this river and uh, let's, I'm still hoping. Uh, I'm still banking on more fish than crayfish. Uh, one thing I did uh, when I was messing with the trap there, I forgot to mention, I did pick that up at Bass Pro Shops in uh, Vaughn Mills near Toronto. And uh, I'll put a description uh, or a link down below for uh, Bass Pro Shops. I'm sure everyone knows how to get there anyway, but uh, I'll put it in there regardless. And uh, you can go have a look. Uh, I'm sure you can buy them other places. Uh, I was there and I picked one up. I looked in a few other stores and I didn't see them, but I did pick this up probably right near the end of winter. So there's still, still snow on the ground. So there was, uh, they weren't probably in the shelves yet, but uh, you know, you can always uh, count on Bass Pro Shops to have everything, everything you need. So okay, I'll, I'll sit back, relax, uh, take in some more scenery, and uh, we'll uh, get back to this shortly, and uh, hopefully I can let you guys see some fish down there. Uh, just on another note too, with the, uh, if you're ever going camping, you know, if you're out in the woods somewhere, just grab a trap, bring it with you. I mean, uh, if you want to have a nice little lunch and uh, of crayfish tails and you're on, on the shore by your tent, that'd be uh, amazing. Uh, of course, bring some butter and seasoning, that'd be good. Uh, so yeah, let's try that. I know I don't have much time left on my bat or my phone. I forgot to plug it in last night, of course. So I'm down about 16%, uh, probably 15 or 14 by the time this video, this shot's done. And uh, so I'll probably have to make the uh, exit of this video pretty quick. Uh, I do want to pull it in and let you guys see what I did catch, obviously, so you can see if I got more fish than crayfish. Uh, hopefully this works and my battery doesn't die. If it does die, I guess I'll be doing this video again and you won't see this one. So uh, let, let's hope it works and I have enough battery left. So I'll see you guys in a few seconds. All right, have a good one. Okay guys, it's uh, been another 20 minutes or so. Uh, I had a look down there and I don't see any uh, more fish swimming around. So what we'll do is we'll uh, pull that up and uh, see what we got. Uh, so if we got anything at all, I'm going to uh, have to shut this off. I can't flip it around. So uh, hold on a sec. All right, there it is closer to shore. And I don't see any fish down there. I don't know if you guys can even make that out or see any fish, but there it is. So let's uh, pull it up and see what we got. All right, here we go. Well, absolutely nothing. Not even a fish. Well, that's terrible. Now, I know there's crayfish in these waters. I don't know if it's still too early in the spring or... Uh, maybe it's because the food was floating. Maybe next time I'll try like a little uh, like a bait bag and then put some rocks in it so it's just in the bottom. Maybe they weren't interested in being floating on the top. Surprised no fish swam in though. That's kind of surprising. Maybe they were able to get out through the hole there. So, uh, well. That's unfortunate. Uh, I'll try it again. Maybe in another month I'll come down and uh, we'll give it another go. Uh, once again, happy Canada Day to everyone. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. I think it's up there with the bell or somewhere down here. Uh, take care. Uh, you know, have fun. Get out there and, uh, you know, do your thing. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. I guess uh, just one more thing. I guess, uh, you know, if any of you uh, crawdad guys there know what you're doing, uh, let me know down below, uh, you know, what I did wrong. Uh, maybe it's the wrong dog food or the certain types of dog food that work better than the others. Should I try something else? Uh, I'd really like to catch some crayfish. I thought for sure I would have got a couple there. But uh, all right, thanks guys. Give me some advice. I'd appreciate it. Thanks.